So I was looking for some budget night vision goggles. I wasn't out to drop $3,000 on something tactical. Really, I just wanted to look to see if there were some pests out there in our chicken coop because we get a lot of pests in this area in the Pacific Northwest. So these have sufficed just nicely for me. They zoom in, I don't have to go outside. I, I can just basically turn off the lights to my house, pop this little cap off like so in order to allow more light into here and you look in in this end. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I just kinda wanna show you guys about basic functionality of this. So to do so, you hold it down like so, and it will slowly boot up. There it goes right on in there. And of course, the camera that you're looking at this through does not quite do it justice, but I'll, I'll try to show you as best as possible. Of course, I'm just here in my, my grungy garage, but hey, this will have to do, okay? So uh, on top, that's where all the functions are. You see zoom mode. And then of course, also depending on the intensity of the light outside, or if it's pitch black, there are four to five different functions that you just cycle through when clicking the IR right here. And so for my particular use, the chicken coop is really dark out there. So I've had to go to the highest IR setting which allowed me to see with ease the entire chicken coop, even in pitch dark. And then of course, Snap allows you to actually take a photo, which is stored on the included micro SD card, which is right in here. So uh, yes, they do actually include a micro SD card. I was surprised about that because usually these kind of things do not include little things like that. Also, when you buy this thing, be sure to purchase lots of AA batteries because man, these things take so many of them. So on the back side. Uh, they do not actually include so there's like several layers of these bat AA batteries on this side as well as on the other side as well so i won't go into that but basically if you're going to purchase these go ahead and get some amazon basic batteries so because they're pretty darn cheap and uh yeah they just work quite nicely as for the zoom feature because that's the main feature that i personally use uh simply i'm going to push down this as you look through here so we are looking all the way at that bike seat all the way over there. And if we were to go one and then two, three, four, and then five. Let's rotate a little bit so you can kind of see it right there. And then to actually focus, we can turn this little guy right there. Let's focus in and out. Oh, we're going out of focus. Let's go in the opposite direction. There we go. Now the focus is sharp. There we go. And then if you were to continue to push the zoom function uh, one more time, it'll go back to normal. How cool is that? So very, very simple to use, kind of a rubberized eyepiece like so. This cup uh, basically kind of feel like you're on Hoth. But overall, for my particular uses, they do work. I wouldn't use these for anything, quote, tactical because honestly, I, I, I don't think they would last too long in really, really rough environments, but for my particular budget type use, if it's similar to yours, which is, well, looking out the window in the dead of winter at your chicken coop to see if in fact they are all doing great, because I care for my chickens, I love my chickens, so they work absolutely phenomenally. So we're gonna pop that on like so. And uh, oh, in case you're wondering, this little cap right here lets in less light. So if it's uh, kind of dusk out and you don't want to go full night vision, you can pop that on. But right now it's dark out, so I had to take this off completely to let in as much light as possible. So there you go. And oh, as for turning it off, you just hold down like this like so. And then a cheery little greeting says goodbye. And there you go. Hope this helps everybody.